Have you ever been in a situation where maybe both mud pumps failed or maybe the pipe handling section was down and you had to troubleshoot the PLC program and you weren't familiar with it? As the downtime increases, so does the pressure. And along with that pressure comes that funny sinking feeling, which is sometimes called fear. And you're asking yourself, what do you do? Hello, my name is Jim Joris and welcome to Essentials for Troubleshooting PLCs. My background in the electrical world is diverse. In my many years in the field, I have worked on everything from rewinding motors to high voltage to servo motor control systems. For the past seven years, I've been a PLC instructor focusing on Allen Bradley SLC 500 and Control Logic. One of the most fascinating on-site training I ever did was when I spent two days with a six-man crew setting up a rig for a new drill. A very close second to that experience would have to be instructing at a tank farm where the crude was piped in from across the country and then transported. In Essential for Troubleshooting PLCs, we will answer that question of what to do. When it comes to troubleshooting, the bottom line is, if you don't know how it's supposed to work, then you can't fix it. My approach to teaching is based on what I wished I knew at three o'clock in the morning when the equipment was down and there was no one to call. Although I've been through half a dozen PLC classes, I always felt that I never learned what I really needed to know, and that is how to troubleshoot. The goal of this course is twofold. Number one, to provide hands-on training that is affordable. And number two, to create confidence and success in troubleshooting PLCs. The course is divided into two parts. The first part will cover the six essentials for troubleshooting, which are, number one, understanding the difference between relay logic and ladder logic. Number two, understanding the functionality of an I.O. module. Number three, four, and five, understanding the XIO, XIC, and the OTE instruction. And number six, most important, think like a processor. Learn how to think like a processor. In part two of this course, you will experience hands-on learning using the Allen Bradley 500 emulator. After this course, you will know how to configure a driver for RS-232 how to commission a new processor, how to save, download, and go online, how to write programs that enhances your understanding of how a processor thinks, and learn powerful tips for troubleshooting. Whether you are new to the world of PLCs or just wanting to sharpen your troubleshooting skills, then do yourself a favor and sign up today. I'm really excited about this course and I'm looking forward to you joining me. See you in class.